According to Lokeris Samson, the Kabong Member of Parliament in Karamoja Subregion, 30 people have since the beginning of last month died in Kabong alone due to hunger. Lokeris says worse still is that government has remained non-committal on whether it has a long-term plan to provide food for the entire subregion during this drought. I've just been with the Minister of Disaster, Honorable Echeru, and I told him the situation as it is. I say, what do I do? Should I bring this poll to Kampala? Am I government really? Because we are not supposed to work. Uh, to feed this one. Lokeris, who was in company of the Kabong woman MP, Akelo Lozrili, said there are now over 100 people camping in his compound back home asking for food, a thing which has seen him abandon his constituency home. I was called from my home in Kabong. There are over 100 hick women and children. They even called me and said, we have come. We want you to take us where you think we can get food. We cannot even go home because once you go there, they expect that you have taken food to them. Which food is not there? You have just heard from my colleague, he's saying there are 100 ik. They say the food provided by government last month did not even push families for three weeks and that now some locals have begun crossing over to Kenya in search for food. It's out of these that they have chosen to kickstart a campaign in which they are asking the public to provide them with any food items to take back home. Some wonder whether the region is simply being disregarded by government, citing the recent move by President Wery Museveni earlier this week to give a trailer of maize flour and beans to Kayunga barely a week after the promise was made, yet hundreds are dying of hunger in Karamoja. The Kayunga issue is something which is within, but for Karamoja we neighbor Kenya, that is more of a desert. We are also appealing to any Ugandan now that if you are able to raise money, Companies, whoever, in the Ugandan, to assist Paul of Carbon, who are, are dying of hunger. They say they will officially, at the end of this week, launch the campaign to kickstart donations of food items from the public, which they intend to take back to their people, a majority of who have now been reduced to eating leaves. Kitali Moses, WS Television.